Welcome to Warrior Fight Series 3. I'm Malcolm Martin and with me my regular partner in crime, Chris Hoekstra. And we are here at the spiritual, historical home of British boxing, the York Hall. Historical home indeed, Malcolm. Tonight, something new and the birth of the modern combat sport of the future. Mixed martial arts, Warrior Fight Series, bringing the action here to London in what is going to be a spectacular event. Up next, our main event, and it's brutal Jake Bostwick. Brutal Jake Bostwick indeed. Possibly one of the greatest prospects in the UK right now, Malcolm, and Jake on a tear. The team Titan fighter, renowned for incredible finishes, but of course his opponent, Patrick Valet. Now Chris, he's a late replacement, but let's not underestimate this man. You have a huge respect for him, don't you? No doubt about it. Patrick Valet from France, one of the regional elite in Europe, make no mistake about it. Known for early submission victories, a very well-rounded fighter of over 20 pro fights. Boswick is going to have his hands full. That said, you've said to me at the moment, in terms of British talent, this young man is on fire. Without a doubt, Jake Boswick obviously training under the incredible tutelage of Mickey Pappas and the Team Titan, brings a lot of utilizable skills to the table, but more importantly, big finishes. Do not blink, Malcolm. This one is going to be a fascinating matchup. Ladies and gents, this is our main event of the evening, a highly anticipated clash between two warriors. Please welcome to the red corner, Patrick Dexter Valley. So here it is, our main event of the evening here at Warrior Fight Series 3 from the York Hall. And this man, believe it or not, is a late replacement, Chris. Unbelievable turn of events with Dwayne Hines out on short notice. As I said in the opening, one of Europe's most elite fighters here today from France. Patrick Valet coming on into Fat Boy Slims right here, right now. Will it be his Cinderella story here tonight, Malcolm? Well, Chris, I know you rate him very highly, and he, he's a veteran, as you said, top competition. Do you think it also works to his favor that he's come at short notice? He's in a no-lose situation, isn't he? No, well, yeah, he brings a different tool set. You know, arguably a little bit more well-rounded, has more professional fights, isn't quite riding the hype train that Heinz was, so maybe won't feel the pressure of the media coming into this event. It's very difficult to say. I mean, looking at him, he made weight very easily yesterday. He's always in shape. He's had some great submission wins and some TKO finishes. He's a guy who's got some very wonderful, readily available skills, Malcolm. And please welcome Patrick's opponent to the blue corner, Jake Brutal Bostwick. And you heard the crowd response there, Chris. I followed this young man since he was 19. I've had the pleasure of commentating on him on his early days. And you, like many others, and myself, feel this young man is probably reaching his prime now. He really is starting to set some benchmarks, isn't he? And setting records, really, in the UK with his current streak. Jake Brutal Boswick is one to watch out for. He's going to have his hands full with Patrick Ballet tonight. Make no mistake, this will not be a pushover. But Jake Boswick is a terrifying unit of a man. Well, this is the thing, Chris. When we first started commentating him back in the day when he was just a youngster, he was always brutal. That's how he got his nickname. He was always there for a fight. But what I've noticed recently is the maturity now. Coming out there, shout out to Bane, one of the greatest villains of all time. And Jake Boswick looking to strike fear into the heart of Patrick Ballet. Boswick known for nasty stand-up, brutal ground and pound, great ground control as well, training out of that Team Titan background. Look for Boswick to come in here and bring the offense and heavy leather in any way possible to Patrick Ballet, but also employing a smart game plan and doing so, Malcolm. That's the difference now, Chris. There's a maturity about this man that makes him even more intimidating in my book, because in the early days, if he could weather the storm, he might run out of ideas, but now we're seeing a well-rounded, mature fighter that still carries that horrible power. Someone always learning. Really, in all honesty, the top prospect in this welterweight division. You've seen a lot of great welterweight fights tonight here at Warrior Fight Series. There's so many interesting style matchups. This here right now might be 
the very finest example of them all. And it's certainly got the crowd going because ever since his first days and he was first going to Cage Rage, Jake Bostwick always brings a big crowd. Why? Because they love an exciting, dynamic fighter. And as he finishes off, checking in with his team there, shout out to the godfather, Mickey Pappas there. All those guys, no doubt inspiring this young man, his growth, and as you said, maturity as a martial artist. Yes. This is the fight they've been waiting for here tonight. And Jake Boswick also not only maturing, but bringing success. Success at the highest level. And you're gonna see how that story is gonna pan out here. Questions will be answered in the Warrior Fight Series tonight in London. This is our main event of the evening, an iPro Sport sponsored Warrior Fight Series professional mixed martial arts bout between the fighter standing on my left and fighting out of the red corner. 34 years of age and standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 182.1 pounds. He has a record of 10 wins, 8 losses, 1 draw, and 2 no contests. Fighting out of Paris in France, Patrick Dexter Valley. And his opponent, standing to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, 25 years of age and standing 5 feet 9 inches tall. He weighed in at 185.2 pounds and has a record of 15 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. Fighting out of London, England, Jake Bruto Bostwick. This bout is three five minute rounds. Fighters to the center, please. So here we go. The main event of the evening. Patrick Vallet in the red corner against Jake Brutal Bostwick in the blue. There's our referee in charge. David Swan gives those final instructions. The temperature is going to go through the roof. I mean, the noise level literally just blew the roof off. Incredible, Chris. Incredible. Such a fan following for this young man. And Jake Boswick on an eight-fight win streak, a reign of terror, as I said. In this welterweight division, Chris. The shorter of the two men marginally compared to Valet. And good footwork from Valet. He'll be aware of the power of the man he's facing. And Valet eats a big right round kick. I'm telling you, man, Boswick has been working super hard at the double K gym. And look for him to exhibit those stand-up skills and diversifying his attack tonight. Yes, Kieran Kettle, a big name now in MMA as well as the Thai boxing. Transitioned beautifully to the art. A little bit of a feeling out process, but still heavy leather being thrown for both fighters. I think it's the right tactic from Valet. But eating those right round kicks he's is start, not. He's got to start checking them, Chris. And you'll see Valet look to possibly extend that jab a little bit, but in doing so, he puts risk at putting too much weight on that lead leg. And Boswick, there you go, see? Exactly. Good call, Chris. And he can't keep taking them. This is just round one. Big right hand from Jake Boswick. Thunders home. Rips across the sky in center ring here at your call. And Valet's keeping mobile, though. That's what he's got to do. He cannot get backed into a corner here with Boswick on the other end of the trigger. Well, what he's doing well, though, Bostwick, is, is cutting this cage down, staying close, staying in range. Nice jab to the body from Valet. He's got a real nice snappy jab on that, but I fear he puts way too much weight on that lead leg. Nice check there. There we go. He, he had to. He had to start. And I like the economy of everything about these two men. Nothing wasted at the moment, Chris. Nothing at all. Categorically, both very restrained in their approach. I can't tell if Bostwick is trying to set traps here with that right leg kick. You can already see the bruising on Valet's lead leg underneath that short, though. Yes, Valet is now aware of the power. And I said, you, we can see it, as you said, just below the short line there, the, the red welt already. And Boswick certainly getting off first, but Valet doesn't look to have too much damage as far as the movement goes. Although, taking a look at that leg, you Oh, he just took another right, Chris, as well. 
clip the temple, that one. Bostwick beginning to unload now, beginning to close that gap. I'm curious to see if Valet is going to go off with anything other than that jab. I feel like he's got a bit of a surprise factor. Obviously, Bostwick did not have a ton of time to prepare, but hey, Bostwick was saying, look, I don't mind. I'll take anybody, anytime, anywhere, any place. Well, as you said, that's the confidence of a winning streak that's being built now. Big right round kick for Bostwick. I like how he steps into that very nicely. Well, he chops it across as, as well, because he gets maximum power out of it. And Valet felt the power of, of what was technically a jab there. Yeah, I mean, well, no, actually, I think he was southpaw there. I got a correction on that, Malcolm. You actually went with a left cross. So in doing so, obviously, he brought the arm back, traveled further distance on the incoming shot then. You see a lot of guys like John Jones do that. They'll go from orthodox right to southpaw and then go a left cross. Very effective tool, especially when your opponent's gauging distance from a different stance. Well, Valet, as you said, sticking to that left jab at the moment. To me, it's more a damage limitation tool rather than a man looking to win the bout. But it's interesting, Valet with a slight reach advantage, but is getting eaten up with those right hands right now. Well, he felt that one again as well, grimaced. And Boswick really putting a lot of effort into those shots as it comes down. Nice head movement from Jake. He well, looks you, so loose in there. You get the feeling, Chris, if Valet keeps up this style and reliance on the jab, there's going to come a time when, when Jake will take that one step in and stay there in the pocket, and then those bombs will really have meaning. And the problem is when Boswick gets on fire and he's got you backed up against the ring, that's going to be... Oh! That said a big right from Valet. It suddenly came in. That's all over. Oh my goodness! This could be a real upset here. Oh, Jake Boswick trying to escape it is inside with a quarter guard. You no wondered excuse. if Valet had anything else, and he showed it. He was waiting and waiting for that right hand, and suddenly it came out of nowhere. I thought he was out for a second. That's great refereeing from our referee in charge. That was nuts, man, but that's a really tight guillotine. That is really, 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 really tight. But Boswick's doing the right thing. He's controlling that arm, getting out. There we go. Good stuff from Jake Boswick. He's had time to recover here. Looks to his corner, but what a shock. Unbelievable connection from Patrick Valet. Floored Jace Boswick. And now he's in full mount. Raining down death from above. Gonna look for that arm bar. Oh! That looks deep. Belly down, Russian style. Boswick's gonna roll out. Great stuff from Jake Boswick. Oh, incredible stuff here from Boswick. What a first round this has been, Chris. Unbelievable stuff there. Unbelievable. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Patrick Valet connected with the surprise. And I thought he was trying to set some up. I was questioning what's going to come after that jab. And then it was that right hand. Boswick was floored and then was in deep trouble. But it was great refereeing to let that continue. I thought for a second he was out, Malk. Well, the thing here, Chris, is we thought that Bostwick was luring Valet on to get closer, to get closer. Valet was actually looking for that distance to be closed. And then, that's when he threw the right hand. Unbelievable it turn of events. And obviously, that choke looked pretty deep. Difficult to finish from half guard, but when you've got someone pinned, it's possible. You'll see the way that he was torquing underneath Jake's chin. Jake did a good job. Hand foot, got free. Then, Valet showed off some of that awesome, awesome jujitsu attack. Attack with an armbar and cranked, but then the time ran out. Crazy. One of the best first rounds I've seen in a long time, Chris. And we wondered what Valet had up his metaphorical sleeve. We saw it. Wow. How much? as Jake Bostwick recovered from that late assault from Patrick Valet. Big right round kick from Jace Boswick. I want to see some more of that from Boswick. He obviously has probably the edge in the kicking game, and that's arguably where his most significant strikes came in that opening round, if you look at the damage on Valet's lead leg. That's right, he's got to be so careful now, Jake, between a rock and a hard place here. Does he force the issue and get caught again? Does he stay at range on the end of that jab of Valet? A lot of questions need to be answered now. Big kick again for Boswick. I want to see Boswick keep swapping stances. That seemed to confuse Valet to the point where Valet wasn't able to get anything else beyond that jab. Boswick, as you said, doing the right thing here, targeting that lead leg. 
And again, as he did early in the first round, Valet not checking it yet. And Boswick putting on a kicking clinic so far in round two once again. Mirror image of round one from the start, but got to be very careful of those sneaky punches from Valet. Yes, and here he comes again, Valet. The knee jumping knee attempt, he springs into action. He felt that body shot though, Valet, that's why he went for the takedown. Wow, great scramble from Patrick Valet. The Boswick responding and defending beautifully there and rolling out of that takedown attempt. Brilliant a roundhouse stuff. attempt in reply from Valet. This one has set the York Hall alight. Oh, and there's the kick again. This time, Valet looks to take it. Unbelievable. Valet will look to take that fight down off the kick. It was a very wise decision, though, I suppose. Using the overhook to control and try to pass here. Can't tell if he's out. There we are, Mount. Boswick was looking to scramble, though. Nice. Boswick doing very good to create space and get out. He's going to try and hip escape here, but Valet is going to try and clinch down with his left arm and control those hips of Boswick. Boswick be looking to, to his that corner back, there, look, Chris. Moving to his corner, listening to them. Valet looking for the back now. Trying to get those hooks in his valet. One hook in. And nearly that second. Second hook in. Boswick doing very nice to get out. Back to valet was a little high there. And Boswick escaped out the back door. Watch for the big right hand from Boswick here. Listen to the fans' response. They know how deep this man has had to dig to get back to this position. It's interesting to see how cardio is going to develop here. You know, both these guys are fighting a little bit higher in weight than they normally would, actually. So... I'm still trying to recover from the fact how shocked Valet was from the body shot. And Valet is figure forward up on Boswick's arm. He's going to try to use a Kimura and escape from this position. But obviously locking up the arm, he sacrifices his ability to defend punches. Nice defense from Boswick and stuffing that head underneath. That relieves the pressure on that arm and then neutralizes Valet's ability to crank on it. This is the maturity I was talking about in every respect now, Chris. Oh, that was a big back take scramble. A little high once again. And it's Valet who winds up on his back. So many twists and turns in this back. This is everything you could ask for from it, a main event. It's the maze of mixed martial arts. So many nooks and crannies. Valet going for that armbar, but much too slippery at this point. And also Boswick, as he went for it, just dropped the forearm onto him. And Boswick charging forward, chin down. Looking to possibly put Valet on his back again, but I suspect he's going to disconnect and look for strikes. Knee to the thigh there as well. Man, Boswick is a warrior. That guy is an absolute machine. Nice body dump there and putting Patrick Valet down. He's going to look to pass here. Valet looking for the wrist control, Chris, but I'm amazed the way Jake Boswick has turned this around. And nice use of Jake Boswick's knee there. To he's trying to trap the arm, isn't he? Yeah, I was going to say, he's trying to trap the arm. And I'll look to use that right hand. Watch the elbow come in or a long right hand power shot. There we yeah. go. There's that elbow I was talking about. Dropping the short elbows now, Jake Bostwick. An amazing turnaround for this young man. And Patrick sitting in half guard right against the cage. Bostwick right in front of his corner, though, unfortunately, for Valet. Patrick's probably wondering, why am I still here after the first round? I did everything right. This should have been over. And Jake Bostwick landing those short elbows. Scoring very effectively here from this position. Pinning up Valet. Valet needs to try to hip in. Oh, he almost trapped the arm with the knee again, but then he just rains down more elbows. I was going to say, Valet needs to hip in. There we go. Now he's got an open guard here where he can try to cage walk and get back up. I was looking for Valet to possibly stiff arm and create that space. He actually was able to scramble in. Very nice stuff. Valet's got really good scrambles. This is a testament to the well-rounded nature of his training and preparation for this bout. And he's looking for that Kimura again, but... Time going to run out. Wow. What a fight, Malcolm. What a turnaround. What a comeback. There are people literally stamping, pounding, shouting, roaring in here. Patrick Valet had a job to get up there, Chris, before he staggered back to his corner. When you think at the end of the first round, where you must have thought coming out for the second, he would be so hungry for it and believing that he could finish it, he staggers back to his corner at the end of the second. These two athletes are pushing each other to the limit. I think the finest detail to take away from message is in that round are all those scrambles, you know. Boswick probably gaining the edge and the damage edge as well in those scrambles, but man, they're putting up a fight and bringing out the very best in each other, as I said, Malk. Incredible matchup, incredible bout indeed.
So Chris, third and final round, and the crowd here are at fever pitch. What a treat they've had for the main event here so far across two absolutely riveting rounds. This is what it must have felt like 2,000 years ago when two heroes would step in and fight during the Roman Empire. I mean, I can't think of anything more fitting to end this historic night here in New York Hall. I and agree with you, Chris. Round. I agree 100%. An amazing show of determination, grit and courage from Boswick to come back and actually, we feel, possibly dominate proceedings in the second. And it's been a wild affair with incredible variation from both fighters and their ability, as I said, to try and exploit and find cracks in the rock that is their armor. Boswick should have been out from the ground of pound in round one, yet still had the foresight and temerity to hold on and then he should have been submitted and he wasn't incredible stuff i know i mean i gotta be honest i don't usually try and call a fight and say it's all over until i really think it's all over and looking at our monitor and the angle we had here i was sure that there was no way he was going to be able to get out of that i mean i literally think he did flash ko but boswick bringing it to valet here He's got to watch that right uppercut, though, Chris. That's the one danger for him. Yeah, those are it's sort of like his guard is a little bit wide at the elbows. I mean, it's just part of his frame. Obviously, he's a very, very powerful individual. He's built like a gorilla, but Patrick Valet still looking pretty fresh here, breathing pretty comfortably. Eats a big left hook, though, from Boswick. Yes, Boswick. Those kicks again, worrying Valet. And Jake Boswick, as you said, threatening with that right round kick, but... Valet doing very nicely, moving away. Problem there was he moved into it. He checked it this time. His leg's cut as well. Valet's leg is cut at the shin. Was that from a check? That is the question. I think it was from that last check. Oh! Oh my goodness! Patrick Valet with the right uppercut. I warned it. I said, Chris, that was the danger. The Valet uppercut. And Boswick here trying to find his wits. Patrick looks tired though, Malcolm. Well, that uppercut, he must have thought, I've got to finish it here, that, <laughs> and it hasn't. We said at the beginning of the round, Chris, he's, the one danger from the way he holds himself is the valet uppercut, and it's landed again. And now Bostwick is landing the elbows. Just when you think the fight is going to change one direction, it changes course into another. Unbelievable stuff. And Bostwick using that right butterfly hook, trying grapevine in with his other leg. Creates some space, turning away from the cage. Not sure if he's gonna try to attack here off his back or get back up, Malk. Unbelievable stuff, Chris. What a fight to end the evening. And you'll see, as I said, the way that Boswick connected that right leg and popped Valet's leg wider to try to create space. He's doing it again right there, see? I suspect he's going to probably try and turn into the cage and stand up here, but make no mistake, Malk, he's fighting on instinct right now. Yes, an incredible shot. An unbelievable affair. I feel like time-wise, as we move towards the end of this bout, Boswick time-wise has controlled more of the fight, but Valet possibly landing a few really, really significant strikes. Very significant, Chris, and I said they've, they've both been uppercuts that have caused Jake's all sorts of problems. But you know what, that's irrelevant. The fact that he's still here is absolutely unbelievable. And full mount for Patrick Valet, the Frenchman looking to make things happen here late in round three. Unbelievable stuff here. And a lot of tension in the atmosphere right now. This is a big struggle going on, you know. How is Basuit gonna be able to pop out maybe perhaps under Valet's arm. Is he going to be able to keep Valet's posture down? If Buswick doesn't get a big finish here, I can see the Frenchman taking this. If, if Jake doesn't turn and really mount a last 30 seconds, 40 seconds offensive, I can see Valet taking this. This is unbelievable. Valet doing a very nice job here of controlling half guard, keeping that shoulder pressure down on Boswick. Boswick is fighting. He's going to try and time his escape here and not expend too much energy until he has to do so. And a good show of patience from both men. Yes, Boswick needs a big finishing. And as you said, there was his attempt. Valet was aware of it. Now Boswick turns again. And Boswick back up to his feet. Oh, oh a big oh, oh, Unbelievable! Unbelievable. And the whole Listen crowd. Listen to the crowd, the knee, the shots. What a fight, Chris. And Boswick is coming back. 
I He's can't coming back. This. Unbelievable stuff. We have witnessed something incredible here tonight. Something truly historic. Some of London's, some of England's, some of the world's greatest fights ever here in York Hall. And we've just set that record one more time in the Warrior Fight Series. The way Bostwick came back there at the end, Chris, that was absolutely unbelievable. Now, I've got first round Valet, second round Bostwick. What will the judges see in that third round? Because do you know what? I've still got a sneaking suspicion it can go Valet's way. Whatever the case, these two men came in here tonight in the main event and delivered in spectacular fashion. Chris, oh, you're right, they're gonna be talking about this one for a long, long time to come. That was immense. And do you know what? I can't help it. We're both, we're both fans. Your bias has got to be with Boswick, but Valet as well. The two of them deserve our utmost respect. Unbelievable. I want to see rounds four and five. A fitting end to this evening here in the Warrior Fight Series and a beautiful show and display for our audience. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm speechless. Judge Mitchell scores this bout 30-28. Judge Flanagan scores this bout 30-27. And Judge Bachelor scores this bout 29-28. All three in favor of the winner, Jake the Brutal Bostwick. Ladies and gents, can you please, please, one final time, put your hands together for his opponent, Patrick Vallée. All right, I'm here with your winner, Jake Brutal Boswick. Jake, we are, in York, we are in London's York Hall. Some of the most iconic fights ever have happened between these walls. That was nothing short of electric young man <laughs> yeah thank you guys uh, you know the first thing i want to say is a massive thank you to patrick valet stepping in on two weeks notice to fight me and he took it with ease he didn't care he was like yeah i'm game and man he gave me such a fight um i think my jaw's a bit broken to be honest um but yeah you know that's my hardest fight yet and um i still got a lot to learn but a massive win for me jake if this was indeed your most difficult test Riding that eight, now nine fight win streak, you are without a doubt one of the hottest prospects in the UK. What, if anything, was surprising to you after that right uppercut connected? And how did you keep on going? We thought, I must admit, at commentary side, that looked pretty close. Um, do you know what? I didn't even know what he hit me with. I just remember being on the floor and him just punching me in the, in the head, elbowing me in my face, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Um, mate, I can't tell you how I survived it, but I suppose that's just my heart. Um, you know, I put a lot of work into this fight and it's the best shape I've been in. And um, yeah, I I'm surprised I survived it. And even in the third, I think he's done the same. Tough dude, man, tough dude. I'm, I've had such a war tonight and I thank him for it. It was an honor and a pleasure and truly something spectacular here tonight, Jake. What do you look to do next coming off what may have been one of the greatest fights we've ever seen? Um, you know, I don't know. I'm going to sit down with Grant Boyle and Ian Dean with my intensity, uh, my management team, and um, just see what's next. You know, uh, I take one fight at a time. I'm in no rush. I'm 25. I've got plenty of wins behind me now, but I've not lost since 2009. So, yeah, onwards and upwards for me, I guess. Jake, one more time, an honor and a pleasure. On behalf of myself and the entire Warrior Fight Series and everyone here tonight, we thank you once again for your performance. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Harry Shawbridge um, for, for getting me on his show and doing my best to put on the show for him. Um, I think he's done really amazing to come here at York Hall. I also want to thank um, uh, Yarek, my, my, my Polish brother, for helping me with my food and my nutrition to get me down. The whole Temple, the Temple team up there, uh, my friends, family, everybody, my dad, my mum, everyone's been so, so supportive. And uh, it's been a year since I fought and that was tough. So massive, massive thank you to everybody. And a massive thank you again to Patrick, thank you. Jake Brutal Boswick, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, I am here with Patrick Valet. Patrick, that was a crazy fight.
You connected with a right uppercut from hell and dove on him. Did you think it was all over as you were landing those strikes and then hit that belly down arm bar? The, t the clock nearly almost ran out just as you were finishing it. Jake is tough. He is a great athlete. He deserves his shot in the UFC. He's a great, great athlete, and I'm very honored to fight in such a great athlete. Uh, I would like to thank WFS for giving me this opportunity. Uh, also, Ari, I know uh, the English people, thank you for the receiving me. And uh, I'd like to thank all my coaches, Olivier Pereira, who, is my, uh, who was my cornerman too, my other cornerman, uh, Jonathan Grenon, and my boxing coach, Noel Chalal, my Jiu Jitsu coach, uh, Sebastian Bassard, uh, and all the people, people who support me. Patrick, obviously you have an incredible, well-rounded skill set. Were you looking to get rounds four and five in? Could you repeat? Were you looking to fight rounds four and five? Would you t try to get more rounds in with Jake? If I would like to do more rounds, I'm tired. Let's wait another time and think about it again. <laughs> he gave me a great fight. Now I need to recover. Patrick, thank you very much for coming over here tonight. We look forward to having you here again in London. And thank you once again for coming in and taking this main event fight. Patrick Valet, ladies and gentlemen.